Here's a video demonstrating the ability to flash the blister if you wanted to upgrade the firmware. It comes with 3.5 on it. It's highly recommended to get it up to 3.12. There's a few bug fixes that have already been introduced in there. Now, this is probably one of the first things you're going to want to do. You can do this on Linux or Windows. There's a flash tool provided for both. I'll demonstrate the Windows version and we can potentially look forward to a version that will come out with the mister so we can do it with inside the mister environment itself. It is not recommended in Windows to use the API tool as you can see there's a little bit of a conflict here. The API tool is designed to work with numbered ports and the blister cannot have numbered ports. So recommendation is not to use the API tool for flashing just general information about what version may be on it, advanced features and whatnot. So we're going to concentrate our focus on the standalone flashing tool. Flashing is just like the Blissbox product. It's very straightforward. Press and hold the button. You'll hear the USB tone. First time it might want to install a driver, so you might want to wait for that to complete. But you can always go over here and hit the find device. Once you see your device listed, you can then open your version you want to flash, and then hit flash. If for whatever reason that doesn't seem to work, give it a little bit longer and hit the find device again the driver could still be installing if it's your first time. Same thing would be true for the other port. Press and hold the button, find your device, pick the firmware you want to use, and hit flash. It's very important to hold down that button during the whole entire process. If you accidentally let go you could recover by holding down the port that may have failed, press and hold the button, remove the USB power, plug the USB power back in, and then you can hit your find device. And then it should allow you to flash in safe mode, which will allow you to recover from a bad port. If you need any further help or assistance on that, we have the forums in the Discord that you can check out. Thanks for watching.